I'm gonna tell you how to be confident on YouTube so you can get more subscribers, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, I'm gonna break this down into two different parts. The first part is how to be confident on YouTube as far as the camera is concerned or being on camera is concerned. And the second part, which is most likely gonna be the most valuable to you, is some tricks that you can use to actually show your confidence on YouTube. And real quick before we get into it, if you are somebody who is already already confident on YouTube and you want to share some of your tips and tricks, let me know down in the comments. Okay, the first thing that you want to do to be confident on YouTube is you want to get ready before you shoot. I'm talking stretch your vocal cords, uh, uh, uh. do mouth exercises to get your mouth all nice and warmed up and ready to blab. And that also includes exercising your tongue as well, but I'm not going to show you that one because, you know, it's probably not something you wanna sit there and look at for a few seconds. But the overall idea here is that you wanna get used to using your face. You wanna get used to your expressions that are coming across on your face. And you wanna get used to basically having your face warmed up and ready to roll so that you don't feel all stiff and you're not messing up your words a lot and things like that. It's really helpful for being confident on camera. Number two, Use your body and be mindful of your body language. The best way that I can sum this one up is consider yourself if you've had a bad day, everything has just went horrible and you're just kind of roughing it and you're doing everything you can just to get home, just to kind of make it through the day, just to get that shower before you can make it to bed. How do you feel? Or more importantly, what is your body acting like? Most likely you're probably slunched over a bit. Your, your tone is probably really low. Your head maybe is hung low a little bit because you know, you feel defeated. But if you've had an awesome day, how do you feel then? What does your body language look like after you've had an awesome day? Everything has went awesome, you are on top of the world. What does that look like? Or more importantly, what does that feel like inside of your body? Most likely in that case, you're going to communicate a little bit more confidently. You're gonna be standing up more straight, your shoulders are gonna be back, your head is gonna be a little bit higher, and you, overall your body is going to be a lot more loose because you are winning and you know it. Clap your hands. The big idea here is basically you want to take all of those things from the awesome day. You want to stand up straight. You want to put your head up. You want to communicate confidently into the camera. When you do all these things, one, you're going to feel more confident, and two, you're going to come across on the camera a lot more confident as well. Number three, which is the most important in my opinion, is to be confident in the editing process itself. We all make mistakes. That's part of creating content. We all make mistakes. We all jumble our words up from time to time. We all say things that we think, why did I even say that? But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because anything that you don't like, you can edit out or you can just reshoot it all and it doesn't even matter because nobody's gonna see it except for you. And now for the stuff that's really going to make a big difference. It's important that you are mindful when you're creating your content, that you're mindful of the language that you're using. Oh, parlez-vous français? Kun poop is hot tie dye, my cop. Do you speak English? I'm not talking about the actual language of the language that you use. What I'm talking about is how you communicate, the confidence that you communicate through the language that you're using in your videos. As an example, instead of saying, I'm going to try to upload every Tuesday and Thursday, make a statement, make a stand and say, I upload every Tuesday Tuesday and Thursday. This also applies to anything about your content. Instead of saying, well, you know, I'm busy with school right now, so I'm gonna try to get videos up, you know, when I can. Instead of saying stuff like that, make the commitment. And if you're not putting up videos on that regular basis, if school does take over your life or whatever, then obviously school is more important, so it's not that big of a deal that you made that statement in the first place. I'm not saying to lie, but the idea here is that you don't want to be trying, you wanna be doing. And the people that are gonna subscribe to your channel, they wanna know that they can count on you for the content. They, they, if you tell somebody, hey, I'm going to try to upload every X and X, then people are gonna say, okay, well then why should I subscribe when this person doesn't even know if they're gonna be uploading or not? Me personally, I've never subscribed to a channel that's, that says that they're gonna try to upload videos. It doesn't even make sense. It's also important that you stop apologizing. You know, when you make a video and you start the video out with, you know, hey guys, I'm sorry I haven't made a video in X amount of time. You know, I've been busy with this and busy with that. Most of the people that are watching that video are not subscribed to you in the first place, or maybe it's the first time that they've seen any of your videos or something like that. So you're speaking to people and you're apologizing to people that don't know anything about you. What does that say about the confidence of your channel as far as generating subscribers are concerned? 
Here's an exercise that I want you to do that can make a humongous difference on how people perceive your channel, which can also make a humongous difference on the amount of subscribers and views that you generate. In this exercise, I want you to imagine that you already have success here on YouTube. I want you to imagine what that looks like to you, not just in subscriber numbers, but I want you to imagine how you would be presenting your content. I want you to imagine what your content would look like, what your channel page would look like. I want you to imagine everything about if you were to reach the success that you desire here on YouTube, I want you to imagine what that would look like, how you would feel, how you would present on the camera, what your camera optics would look like, what everything it is that you're doing, how you would do everything. I want you to imagine that. And then what I want you to do is the next video that you upload, take all of that and actually make that happen. Be that person now while you're trying to grow your channel and people are going to respond to that. For me personally, anybody that's been watching my channel recently, you know that I've had a decent amount of growth on my channel and things really started to take off for me when I stopped trying to do things the way that I thought they should be done. And I went through that exercise with myself and I said, you know, okay, well, if I'm going to do things, I'm gonna try to grow this channel to a certain point when everything's the way that I want it to be, what's it gonna look like when I did that? And then I started applying all of that stuff to the way I present my content, the way everything looks and all of that stuff. When I started doing that, that's when things really started working out well for me. And because of that, I encourage you to at least give it a shot and put it into practice. If you don't know what that looks like now, then just keep working through it. You know, write down ideas. Okay, when I get my when I get my channel to this certain point, this is what it's gonna look like. This is what I'm gonna do. This is the type of content I'm gonna make and things like that. Go ahead and start form formulating that now so that you can start doing all of that right now. Now, in addition to everything that I've talked about here, I also put a playlist together, I'll link it right here, that shares all types of additional tips on things that you can do to be confident on camera. So if you wanna look more into that topic, make sure that you click on that card right now so that you can head over there and check out those videos as well. And if you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.